My name is Maya Dorado. I swam the 200 IM, 400 IM, 200 back, and 800 free relay at the 2016 Rio Olympics, which was my first and last Olympics. The coolest thing I've gotten to do as a result of the Olympics was getting to see Hamilton in New York a couple days after we got back from Rio. Um, we were in the sixth row, where they were these amazing seats, and then afterwards I got to go backstage and meet the cast, sign their wall, take pictures with them, with the props and stuff, and it was just totally surreal. Having the support of America is a thrill, and it's, it's an incredible honor, and that was something that didn't really fully sink in um, until I got home. You know, you, we kind of get to hear the reaction and see the support on social media when we're down there in Brazil, but you don't really get a grasp of how many people watched or what it meant to them until you're home and you get to hear these experiences um, when you meet them face to face. It hasn't been too hard of a transition, honestly, coming back. I surpassed my goals and had this incredible meet in Rio that for me, it's just really fun and really exciting, and for other people, it's like, oh my gosh, like it's an amazing to meet you. And to me, I just still feel like me and normal. And I'm like, well, like, if you knew me, I don't think you'd be that excited about meeting me. Like it's not that big of a deal. That's kind of crazy, but it dies down so fast, and it doesn't last forever, which some people I think are sad about. And I'm like, I can't wait for it to like, not do that anymore. Getting the key to the city, like. I didn't, I was smiling as hard as I could and I didn't know what else to do, like how to express just everything that I was feeling. So I think I was just smiling so hard and, um, you know, said thank you, but at the, it's like, what do you do? How do you fully grasp that moment and let it sink in? So, um, yeah, that was, that was a very cool, very cool thing.